In this video, I'll show you how to run MATLAB on Microsoft Azure. The solution template comprises of an Azure Resource Manager, which configures all the necessary networking and infrastructure, creates a single virtual machine pre-installed with MATLAB, Simulink, most toolboxes, and many deep learning frameworks. We'll connect to the virtual machine using remote desktop from our local PC. To get started, simply search for MATLAB in the Azure Marketplace. Click the Get It Now button. A dialog box will appear asking for your consent to share your contact information with MathWorks. Click Continue to proceed. Since this is a bring your own license solution, if you need a MATLAB license, click here to obtain a trial license. On the next page, along with your email, provide any information that will help a MathWorks representative better understand your needs and follow up with you on licensing options. Back to the Marketplace listing, click Create to begin the deployment. First, select your subscription. Next, select an existing resource group or create a new one. It's recommended you create a new resource group for each project. It makes it easier for you to organize your projects and delete older deployments. Then, select a location for your deployment. Most locations are supported, but if you're not sure, you can leave the default and move on to the next stage. In the virtual machine settings, the VM size is the size of the machine running MATLAB. A 4V CPU machine with 14 GB of memory is a reasonable default. Just make sure your VM size is sufficient to run your workload. Next, create a username for your virtual machine. This creates a new user account, and note that this is not your Azure or MathWorks username. It is, however, the username used to log in to the virtual machine when you connect using remote desktop. Enter a password. In the IP addresses field, specify the client IP or the IP of your PC that will be used to connect to your MATLAB deployment using remote desktop. Specifying this IP helps you to secure your deployment by limiting access. You can determine your own client IP address by googling, what is my IP? Copy and paste the client IP address followed by slash 32. The slash 32 is a mask that limits the address range to a single IP address. If you're using a network license manager, enter the optional port at host name to point to the correct license manager and move on to the next stage. In the networking settings, the virtual network has been pre-configured for you with reasonable defaults. These settings can be modified to meet your specific IT needs. Please contact your network administrator before modifying these settings. If you need additional guidance on the virtual network settings, you can find the link to the MATLAB documentation here. Next, click the Review and Create button. On the final page, Azure will validate your inputs. Make sure you read the Azure Terms and Conditions and Privacy Policy before you click Create. You will be billed by Azure for the resources consumed. Azure will now begin deploying your resources and the process will take about 2-5 to five minutes. You'll receive a notification when the deployment completes. From that notification, click the Go to Resource group to see the resources it created. We'll need the DNS name to connect using Remote Desktop. That can be found either in the public IP or the VM. Click the public IP address. Copy the DNS name. Open Remote Desktop on your local PC. Paste the DNS name and click Connect. On the login screen, enter the username and password you specified earlier. This will connect to the virtual machine desktop and may take a couple of minutes for the machine to finish starting up. Once you see the MATLAB icon on the desktop, double click it to launch MATLAB. This may again take a few minutes the first time you launch MATLAB. MATLAB will eventually prompt you for your MathWorks account login information. Once you see the MATLAB prompt, it is ready to use. Now go ahead and enter your favorite MATLAB command. If you no longer need to run MATLAB on Azure, simply delete the entire resource group which will remove all the components from your deployment.
In this video, I've shown you how to bring your own license and use MATLAB on Microsoft Azure. To learn more about using MathWorks products in the cloud, visit the MathWorks Cloud Solutions page.